Happy Sunday, guys. Me again, ready to blab your ears off. Um, so I finished church. I actually stayed home today. Um, my cousin was lazy in bed. I went out last night, going out again today. So I thought, why not do church at home again? I baked two loaves of bread. I made 12 muffins. I cleaned and it was productive. I was multitasking or multi-switching, as my friend says. And um, anyways, at the end of it, what I took from it is I need to be me because me is my job. So like nobody else has the job of me. Like I need to be me, not the, the me society says I have to be, not the me that somebody wants me to conform to to make it easier for them or to make it more beneficial for them. I just need to be me. And being me means being confident in who I am, speaking my truth. Like these are like things I mentioned in the our podcast that was released or is releasing on Monday, one of the two, um, where it's just like aging is such a beautiful thing because you no longer care to fit into other people's mold. Like you really don't care. Um, you do what you want to do because it feel good, feels good for you. I mean, in reason, like you're not going to go around hurting people. Um, but I mean, like if you don't want to go to a party, you don't go to the party and worrying about how someone will feel because you don't go to something is just like, well, how are you going to feel at the end of the day? Which brings me to like something that he said was, um, when you wake up every morning, you should plan how you want to feel at the end of the day. So literally drink your tea, whatever it is, and think, how do I want to go to bed tonight? Like, what do I want to do when I'm in my bed? Like, how do I want to feel? And he's like, you need to uh, reverse the engineering of your decisions for the day. So like literally think, oh my God, like this is a superficial one, but like if I eat too much pumpkin pie today, I'm going to have indigestion and I'm not going to sleep well tonight. Um, and like even something like that, like I read in um, Becoming Mrs. Better Half, like if you know it's a night of intimacy for you and your partner, don't eat the bean burrito. Like just don't eat the bean burrito. Why are you going to eat the bean burrito? You're going to go to bed gassy, bloated. You're not going to want to get any like intimate time because you're gassy and you just feel like a balloon ready to pop. But you see my point? Like you need to think of your decisions and what you're going to do that day. So like plan out your day, but think, how do I need to feel at the end of this day? So it don't overwork yourself. Don't over plan. Don't drink too much caffeine. Don't have too much alcohol. And then don't do too hard of a workout class. If you know that you have to be there for your kids in the evening, like just literally engineering your day from end to beginning. So you know how to make choices in the day to go through. And again, this is what like church is kind of to me, right? Like I wake up in the morning on Sundays, it sets my tone for the day, hopefully for the week, if not by Wednesday. Um, but it really helps. But again, because that's me and I can only be me and decide for me. And I'm not going to conform to what people want me to be because if I conform, I will not get the plan for my life to transform and transformation is way more beneficial than just conforming. Like, you know, um, uh, what else did he say? Um, so basically, yeah, he was just talking about the copycatting and like, oh, and then this was another huge one for the era that we live in right now because everybody's a, like social media copycats and oh my God, they got um, this wonderful new i don't even know new bar stool i think i need to get a bar stool now like we all fall into the trap me i like looking at pretty things for homes online and then i try to replicate it like you know my house is really messy right now but he says what you're copying is cropped like think about your instagram how many times do you post things but you crop you edit filter oh you took the picture the lighting's not well i need to take it again oh wait there was a sock in the background let me do it again oh let me take this beautiful picture of my kitchen today with my perfect latte sitting on the counter not a crumb in sight meanwhile it took you like 10 minutes 15 20 whatever to to prep for one photo and the whole world is looking at those photos like, oh my God, I need to be this, please. Like my life, oh my God, their life looks so perfect. But you don't know that they crop shit out that you can't see. 
And that's a good metaphor also for our lives. Like we are so reminiscent on times that were so great, felt good, this, that, but like you actually don't look at what was cropped out from those moments you're just like isolated like oh yes it felt so great but like you're not looking at everything else that was around it um so anyways rambling on but you can only be you like you can only be you you cannot be the instagram influencer because you don't know what her five minutes he said before that were like and you don't know what the rest of her day was like just like he made the analogy about like trying to have this designer purse that you see everybody with but meanwhile you don't know at the bottom of their purse is a bottle of depression pills like everybody has their own journey and their own life and life throws you weird stuff every single day and some things like you just can't have answers to and you don't know why they happen but embrace it and just be yourself in the moment speak your truth be who you are and just be the the person that you were designed to be only you can be you nobody else can be you nobody can decide for you it's great yes to get information and advice from people when it's asked for not just like unsolicited advice but like you can only parent your kids the way you can you can only love your spouse the way you can and you can only be a friend the way you can you can only bake the way you can like you may not be a great baker but that's okay you don't have to be a great baker because you're the you that you're supposed to be anyways i don't know who's listening to this what you're taking from it um i just hope that there's something um because for me that's what i took from it i can only be me i can only be crazy old pam crazy old pam who likes to sit and entertain and do corny things and loves Christmas and believes in Santa and, you know, likes to eat pie and take nature walks. That's just me. I may not be the top of the fashion. I may not have a fancy car, but I'm me and I'm enjoying my life and I'm grateful. I'm very grateful. I'm blessed. To have had so many experiences and loved and lost and forgiven and been hurt and gotten over it and got a dog, you know, I'm just blessed to be me and I'm the only me I can be. So happy Sunday. Take that with a grain of salt or two or three. And my bread's beeping, so I gotta go get it out of the oven. Peace out. Have a good day. Bye.